Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. Today we're going to take the first step of getting the Raspberry Pi up and running on a wireless network. So at this point I've already got it powered up, I've logged into it, and I've got the uh, USB Wi-Fi uh, dongle already plugged in. And this is one of the ones that was on the uh, approved and tested list that you see on raspberrypi.org. So the first thing we'll do just to make sure that everything's okay is we'll use a command ls usb and that's going to tell us if we see the wlan adapter and we do uh you see it's identifying as a real tech semiconductor so that part's all there now the next command that we're going to try is just to show that the system has actually got the driver up and running and then it sees it at a level it should almost run our old friend if config now you can see we've got a WLAN adapter, it gives the MAC address. Now if you're working with an access point that has MAC address filtering turned on, and we're not going to have a discussion over it's not a good security tool or whatever, it's, it is a tool. Some people use it, some don't. Make sure this MAC address is in that whitelist, otherwise you'll never get it to attach. So there are several different ways of configuring wireless on the Raspberry Pi and I thought I had one all lined out but then I found something that I've not seen discussed a lot on a lot of the other websites and it's something that's built in to the Raspbian distribution and it's WPA CLI and it drops you into something that's been written and what well first thing we'll go out and do is we'll type scan and that's going to get the Wi-Fi uh, dongle to look at what it sees on the network and as soon as you see this come back that says event scan results then the next thing you can do is scan underscore results and it's going to show you all the wireless SSIDs that it finds so in this case the one that we're going to configure for is the one at the very top of the list the LWAP underscore C so to start that process we'll type add underscore network and it'll come back with zero, zero saying it's ready to go. So we'll do set space network space zero SSID. And in this case, we're going to do LWAP underscore C and close double quotes. Okay, it's taken that. We'll do set underscore network space zero space PSK, which is short for pre shared key. And then we'll use the key that I've established for this test SSID. Press enter. It says OK. Now we have to enable this network so that it knows that it can go ahead and use it. So we've enabled it. And if you've gotten everything right, what you see on the screen now is first time it tried, it couldn't get in, but now it has gotten through. You'll see a compl completed space and then auth in parentheses. So we need to save this config. And what this is doing, this is actually going out and creating the configuration file for the WPA supplicant. And you don't have to worry about hand coding all it. It just puts it in and it works. So we'll type save config and we're done. And then we'll type quit. That's it. That's all that you have to do. So what we can do next is we can type IW config, which will give us the wireless configurations. Now at this point it's showing that we are attached, it sees the SSID, tells us the frequency that we're using, gives us the MAC address of the access point, everything is looking just exactly the way it should. So at this point, you know, we can just for verification that we are working okay, is if I type the right command, IF config this time, then it shows us that we do have a MAC address, do, excuse me, have an IP address on there and it's all ready to go. At this point we can do something like pinging uh, Google and we're getting a response back. So we're, we're up and running. So of all the different ways I've seen of doing this, this has been the most straightforward and easiest to do. So enjoy and uh, good luck at getting your Raspberry Pis up and running on wireless. Thank you for listening and again for more information on this you'll see some of the details written out go to my website at www.ronnutter.com. Thank you for listening.